हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम इंजीनियर नासिर एज वी ऑलरेडी स्टडी स्क्वायर सीलिंग डिफ्यूज़र सप्लायर रजिस्टर ग्रिल बार ग्रिल लीनियर स्लॉट डिफ्यूज़र जेट डिफ्यूज़र एट्सेट्रा नाउ विल स्टडी इन दिस वीडियो द रिमेनिंग लाइक राउंड सीलिंग डिफ्यूज़र परोफोरेट सीलिंग डिफ्यूज़र डोर ग्रिल स्विल डिफ्यूज़र डिस्क पॉल एट्सेट्रा हाउ टू सेलेक्ट राउंड सीलिंग डिफ्यूज़र these are commonly used volume control damper which we use with uh, round ceiling diffuser this is radial type and another one is butterfly type to select the round ceiling diffuser we use performance data sheet that is provided by the manufacturer in this sheet you can see the first column is showing the neck size of the diffuser in inches and the top row is showing the neck velocity in fpm you can see in this table there is different neck size for the diffuser 6 inch 18 inch 10 inch 12 inch then you can see below 14 16 18 20 and 24 for each neck size there is sub row in this sub row there is air flow in cfm total pressure drop total uh, throw in feet and nc level from this sub row you need to select the cfm as per your requirement and nc level then you need to select the corresponding neck size of the diffuser at a corresponding neck velocity if your duct is designed for maximum neck velocity of 500 fpm then you cannot go to select beyond this velocity to select the diffuser let us make a line after 500 fpm velocity then for 6 inch neck size the maximum cfm value will be 100 and the nc level will be less than 20 it is very good for 8 inch neck size the maximum cfm 175 for 10 inch 275 for 12 inch 395 and so on and nc level is always less when we will find then nc level is uh, more than our requirement suppose we have the maximum limit 30 nc level and we got the nc level more than then we need to select the according to the nc level but if your duct is designed at higher velocity and you can select the neck size at higher velocity then you can first see the nc level suppose for 6 inch neck size we can see the nc level 25 30 if our nc level limit is 30 so we will select this one and for this we have the cfm value for 6 inch neck size 195 but we need for it 1000 fpm neck velocity if you can provide if we have in our uh, duct for the neck 100 fpm then we can select this 6 inch neck size for 195 cfm similarly let us see for 14 inch neck size round ceiling diffuser we will see the nc level our maximum limit is 30 so this 29 then 33 so we will select this 29 and the corresponding cfm value is 750 and the corresponding neck velocity need 700 fpm if we have in our duct neck velocity 700 fpm then we can select round ceiling diffuser of neck size 14 inch for a maximum cfm value 750 perforated square ceiling diffuser is a type of diffuser with perforated face the core is same as normal square ceiling diffuser how we select perforated square ceiling diffuser like normal square ceiling diffuser it is also of four types it is one way type this is two way it is three way and it is four way and this performance sheet is for selection of four way type perforated ceiling diffuser the first column is showing the neck size in millimeter and the top row is showing the neck velocity in meter per second then this boxes in between it is showing for each size there is air flow in meter cubic per hour then throw in meter then nc level so from any of this box you can select the cfm throw and nc level as per your requirement 
then you can select the corresponding neck size of the perforated ceiling diffuser. The throw data in this table is for four way type. If you need to select for three way or two way or one way type, then you need to multiply the throw by this correction factor. It means for three way type, you need to multiply by 1.05. For two-way type, you need to multiply the throw by 1.1 and for one-way type, you need to multiply this throw in the table by 1.15. Disk wall. Where we use it and how to select? Disk wall are widely used for exhaust inlet in washroom and bathrooms. The commonly used nominal sizes are 4 inch, 6 inch and 8 inch. The disc of the disc wall is fixed with a screw that is fixed with the body and you can control the air flow and NC level, sound level by rotating this disc. If you rotate the disc in such a way that it go outward then the air flow will be increases and the sound NC value will be decreases. If you rotate this disc in such a way that it go inside then the air flow will be decreases and the sound level will increase. You can see from this table, this table is for 8 inch size disc wall. This row is showing the air flow and NC level when the disc 8 is 0 position. So when we rotate it, it comes outward, it go in the plus, you can see here is the plus. So you can see the CFM value in plus going increasing and you can use this disc for 8 inch size up to 240 CFM with NC level 25. But if you rotate this disc in such a way that it go inside in the minus then you can see even for 120 CFM the NC level became 33. So you can adjust this disc by rotating as per your requirement of CFM and NC level. Ceiling swill diffuser is used for high areas like in airport and malls etc. It has fixed and adjustable blades to control the air pattern. We can use it for horizontal flow pattern as well as for vertical throw pattern. It can be used for air flow starting from 65 liter per second up to 1080 liter per second. We use ceiling swill diffuser to supply air for high areas. It came with fixed horizontal blade and adjustable blade that can be adjusted from 0 degree to vertical 90 degree. You can adjust this angle as per your throw requirement. To select the swill ceiling diffuser there are different tables according to the models. In this table the first column is showing the nominal diameter of the diffuser. Here is the air flow in liter per second and this one is sound level. So first you need to select the air flow then you need to check the NC level for it if it is acceptable. If it is not acceptable then you go for the next size then check from there then accordingly you can select the size of the swill ceiling diffuser. We can install it in different ways with plenum like here or freely suspended installation like uh, you can see here or with fall ceiling also. Non-vision transfer grill or sometimes we call it door grills. Non-vision transfer grills are designed to be installed in doors or partitions they allow free movement but you cannot see through these grill from other side. This table is used to select the non-vision transfer grill or door grill. The first column is showing the different sizes for the door grill in inches and the top row is showing the face velocity for these grills. The face velocity starts from 300 fpm and up to 800 fpm. As we know 800 fpm also there is no issue for sound and the between portion is showing the airflow in CFM for all these sizes of the grill so you can select these sizes of the grill for any of these CFM 
but it is recommended to select the grill for a maximum phase velocity of 500 fpm you can see it is the section for the door grill so the air will enter from here then will go like this so air can pass but you cannot see through it if you will try to see you will see this blade will not allow you to see for other side 